Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RuneScape. Yeah, look at this. Look, 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 look at me. Look at me just standing here with my cape and look at the animation. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. I might just do that every single time just because it <laughs> just because it feels awesome. All right, so those of you that know what I'm at, I am at a God of Wars dungeon. Which is one of the bosses in the game. And we are going to go fight it. Solo style. Um, well, I guess we'll have to see how... Um, what the heck? was he? I thought he was here. He is. He's right there. Maybe someone just left here. Huh. Maybe it's that guy. There's a guy out there. Maybe that's him. Um, I just don't know. But anyways... We're going to go in there, and uh, I've been watching some videos up on this to uh, hopefully hopefully I don't die. Uh, that would be really bad because I really don't have a crap ton of money to just lose a bunch of stuff. So, um, you know, we want, do we have on this one, do you have a protect item? You do. Is that always on? Nope. Okay. So... Uh, let's go here, and we're going to, okay, so what I need to do is I need to attack, uh, Krill, and as soon as my D ability becomes available, I need to hit that right away, because it's about roughly the time, what he'll end up doing is he has a special attack, and when he does that special attack, that will reduce it by 50%, so then I don't get dominated by that, uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to heal a lot, and blah, 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 so, uh, so let's try to get at it, so let's, let's, uh, drink this prayer renewal, just to start renewing on prayer, let's drink a couple of those. He has a poison ability, so I'm, that's why I have the poison potion. We have overloads. Um, which, does that not hurt you no more? Oh, they changed that. That doesn't hurt you no more. Okay, so I just want to test this. If I eat a rock tail, that puts me up above the health. But if I hit F, that takes out from there. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to pray. Uh, turmoil and soul split soul split gives me uh health back by what i hit them and turmoil is like uh boost on my prayer my uh attack strength defense stuff like that so let's uh let's z and x go in there like that and i am scared you guys i think i'm good i don't think i need anything else yet let's go all right so we need to go uh oh yeah you can do the custom sessions and stuff no let's just go to the boss room so you can uh you can we need to attack curl right away. Perfect. So we need to get ready with the D. And really I just need to watch my health and my prayer stuff like that and make sure it all goes uh, correctly. So I can activate that once I get to 100% here. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as I hit 100 on this adrenaline bar, then we hit that ability. One more. There we go. Activate it. Activate it. I activated it. Yes. And I don't think I took much damage from him. And I think we can use our, uh, that, the Berserk, to do a lot of damage. Whoa, there was it, there it was, there it was, there it was, there it was. Woo, did you guys see it? Yeah, I definitely, uh, maybe did it, was too quick on the kills or something? I don't, I don't know exactly what happened there. And I don't know if there's, I know there used to be like a, a whatchamacallit, Infernal Ashes, I want to bank those. There used to be like a certain order. You usually want to do the mage first, which is, uh, I think the one I'm going to end up doing last. <laughs> nope. Range. Range. I don't know. Weakness. Stab. Okay, that's what that shows. I want to, I want to activate penance, uh, because that's what I want to do. So we want to pray here, since we can. Right? No? You cannot pray, oh, you cannot pray while in combat. Okay. And I must, my prayers dropped. Yes, they did. Okay. So we want to, we'll want to, uh, no, I don't want to switch back to prayers. No, but I want to recharge. No, keep using curses. Yes. Okay. So I don't know what exactly, uh, happened there. I don't know why, uh, use winter storage scrolls on that. No. How is it? Is it Z? I have something bound to Z. Oh, that's my prayer. Uh, was it V that I have something bound to? Oh. How do I... You know what? It's it's this right here. It's 
Winter Storage Scroll on that. Infernal Ashes, if I remember right, those are. Whoa, 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 no. Where are Bandos? Winter Storage Scroll. Nope, okay. Whatever. Okay, so we just need to make sure we're attacking him. Prayer is good, everything's good. Soul Split is on, but I'm still getting dominated. I'm at 5,000 health. All right, we're getting dominated some t for some reason on this one. A little bit more than we were last one. So, I don't know what happened. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'm killing him too fast or something. Maybe I didn't use it. Can I use it now? Use D. Alright, I used D. There we go. Maybe I just used it at the wrong time last time. I don't know. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Blocked at that time. Yep, there we go. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I just need to remember how to cast winter storage scrolls and why that's not working exactly. Uh, because it should be. Which is really weird that it's not. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get this guy. There's a, there's an order you're supposed to do these in. And I'm obviously not doing them in the right order. <laughs> uh, I don't know what... I think that... I know Bandos, it's the mage, and then the range, and then the melee, so that's the, kind of the beef I'm going to go at it with this one, too. Same sort of, uh, same sort of ordeal. Right? Yeah, that works. Per renewal runs out in 30 seconds. My overload runs out in the same amount of time. Alright, so perfect. So we do prayer renewal. We do overload. You know what? And I don't know if I want to, uh... To be honest with you, I don't know if I want to take off my prayers at all. I know I probably should, but I'm feeling like I, I won't. So let's just do that. So, it's Winter Storage Scroll. Why is that not cast Winter Storage Scroll? There we go. Is that really out? There's got to be an easier way to do that. I think it's Infernal Ashes. If you can bank those, that's pretty decent money. So let's uh, just keep doing that. And then we can F for take from Bob. You know, I don't really need these on. I think if I stand here, uh, I think if I stand here, I think I'll be doing pretty good. Uh, where I could take my prayers off, but yeah, it is right there. Okay. So I could stand right there and take my prayers off in the future. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't activate it that first fight. That first fight, I'm pretty sure I, this ability down here that halves his attack on his special, I'm pretty sure I didn't activate that, and that's why I got dominated so badly. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure, because because remember the last time I told you the revolution thing, and I so I think I just have to get it to where it activates like that with the square around it, and then that will, that's what makes it good. So there we go. Let's just make sure we're healed. See, so 1500. That might be a lot, I don't know. I don't think so, I think that's an okay. Let's then do my Berserk. Let's get a little bit more food in me. So I, I know I'm not supposed, I'm soloing it in Bandos, which isn't like exactly the best tank gear. So I know I shouldn't, I know I'm gonna take a little bit more damage than maybe normal, but I'm at least able to, uh, ooh, a Spirit Emerald, what is that? So, But I'm at least able to uh, get I, I, this is more of like a DPS sort of kill, sort of quick kills, and I even have my helmet, my uh, Slayer helmet on, because this is a Slayer task for me, so it's, you know, the yeah, blah, blah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do this for a little bit, and if I get anything good, I'll make sure I include you guys in. So guys, I thought I'd bring you back for this last kill. The, uh, you know, the guy that I watched, I'm not too impressed with, to be honest with you, I think it was kind of a bad guide um it, it overall i mean it works because i'm obviously haven't died yet but uh when he tell the thing that the guy tells you to do with this de debilitate it i've i've seen it several times just totally not block anything where i've got i got smacked for like 4ks 5ks and crap like that so uh i don't know how well he said right around when this gets 100 percent which I've blocked it a couple times, but I've also not blocked it a couple times, so I don't know if it's right or not, so I've, I've kind of just kept my health up high the whole time, because we did see him whack me that 5k that one time, but I don't want that happening again. 
So, see there, maybe that did have, that probably did half it, considering that was only 2k. Uh, there we go. Get the Berserker going. Berserk go. There you go. Perfect. And what Berserk does, as you see here, uh, it raises your stats. Uh, me melee damaged up by 100% for 20 seconds or something like that. I don't have quite time to look. So, this is my last kill, and what did we get? We got an Adam chest plate. Adamant chest plate. Um, so my, my pack yak, that, that kind of uh, disappeared on me on accident. I got a phone call right in the middle of <laughs> when I was doing it. It was a theater across the street calling, saying, hey, we got some great deals on some plays coming up, blah, blah. So I listened to his spiel, and next thing I knew, I was like, where's my... Okay, I went to go withdraw something from my yak. It didn't, and I noticed, oh, your yak is gone. I was like, oh, snap. So uh, that kind of sucks. But that's, that's going to conclude these kills. Let's grab these infernal ashes. Uh, they sell. They're they're going. They go for three k a piece. So, the the pouch, the winter storage scrolls to bank them, put them into my bank. They cost like three hundred a piece, and those things cost like three and a half k a piece. So, they're definitely worth banking when you got the pack yak. Um, so, you know, there's something cool about here now. You can do this where you can teleport where if I didn't want to like if I was just like leaving like and I, I still had a lot more left but let's say I wanted to leave I could just teleport out like that and then I'd be in here I already have my kill count back up to above 40 so I don't got to go back out and get any more kill count it's kind of cool but since I'm out of supplies for this trip um, we're gonna bank Telly back home and see what we get um, just to see kind of this is my house hi guys how's my house you guys like my house my house is really pretty. All right, let's just do our normal things when you go into the house. You know, you recharge your summoning points. You recharge your prayer. Go back through the door. You always rub the glory of am the amulet of glory just because it, cause it feels so good. It feels so good to rub a glory. And then, I mean, Edgeville. That's where I always go. I always go to Edgeville. Let's see. What did we all get? So we got the uh, Lantern Dine. We got the uh, the Bank Pin. Oh, uh, you thought I was going to enter that in front of you, didn't you? No, no, no. Okay, where's my Infernal Ashes? So I also got this thing. I got to read up on what that thing is because that was not around when I last played. Um, so I I obviously missed 14 of these because I didn't bank them all right away because I didn't know how much they are worth, which kind of annoys me now. Um, what else did I? I don't think I banked anything else. I don't think. I wonder how much those are worth nowadays. So let's do a little price check on how much we made on that trip. We didn't really lose that much because we only went through one overload and one uh, prayer renewal and then only two prayer flasks and a bunch of rocktail, but I guess whatever. Um, Infernal Ashes alone, we got 115k. The Lance gave us another 100k-ish. So we made about 200, 200k on that, which I think... 2k a piece. I went through about 30 of those, so that's about 60k. Yeah, we probably we definitely came out. I'd say about 100k profit, which you know it's not that much, but uh, you know I I'm mainly doing I mainly am going there just to see if I can get some lucky kills, and also that is my Slayer task right now, is the uh, is greater demons, and since those are considered greater demons, I'm able to go do those. Um, so that's kind of why I went there. They give a lot of uh, Slayer XP. Uh, I went there with, I think, 90k XP to level 99k or something like that. And that trip gave me over 30k XP, which I just need to get to 75. Then I can do Curdo. So, like always, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Hey, wrong way. Ow. No, shh. Ow. Okay. You know what? They want Everyone wants you to turn around, dude. Turn around. There you go. Oh, no. This way. This way. This way. There you go. So, like always, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Oh, you know what? I can do, uh, where are they at? Where are those things at? Do they not have them no more? They gotta have them. Where are they? Um, hmm. All right, thank you guys for watching. Dream big.